guys it's Emily so today we're gonna be doing um a video after one of my favorite youtubers Shane Dawson we're gonna be doing like a creepy murder kind of video today and I'm gonna be talking about someone named Richard Speck. He's from Kirkwood, Illinois. He came from a very large religious family. He was the seventh out of eight children. His father died when he was very young. He was about at the age of six when his father passed away. His mother remarried shortly after and the family relocated to Dallas, Texas. The stepfather was a drunk who abused the children frequently, all eight of her children. This led to Richard becoming known as a juvenile delinquent and as a young teenager he committed petty crimes. Later on in his life Richard married Shirley Malone. They married in 1962 and they had a daughter shortly after. Shortly after that he got arrested for theft and check fraud in 1963. So their happiness was very short-lived. They didn't get like much time to love their daughter together and whatever. He stayed in jail for quite a little while. When he was released in 1965, he got a tattoo that said born to raise hell. He only lasted four weeks outside before he was arrested again for aggravated assault. At this point, Shirley had filed for divorce and she was just ready to get out of this toxic relationship. After he served his time for the aggravated assault, he made it back to Illinois and stayed with family friends for a little while while he pursued a career as a carpenter. But shortly after, on April 2nd, 1966, Virgil Harris, who was 65 years old, was brutally raped and robbed in her own home. They, There's no proof that he did this, but many believe that he did. He was never charged with these murders. On April 13th, on April 13th, Mary Kay Pierce, a barmaid at his local bar, was found beaten to death. Originally, Richard Speck went unnoticed to the police, but police eventually tied him to her attack when they found some evidence in an abandoned hotel room of his. Richard began to work on a ship, and it seemed bodies or missing people disappeared or appeared wherever he had been. Indiana wanted to question him on the banishment of three girls on July 2nd, 1966. They never found the bodies of those girls. In Michigan, they wanted to question him on the murder of four females ages ranging 7 to 60, both of which happened while his ship was near the location. On July 13th, 1966, the focus of tying Richard to those murders became less of importance. Richard went to a shared townhouse with eight student nurses from South Community Hospital in Chicago. Corazon Amoro opened the door. Richard forced his way in at gunpoint. He then rounded up all the nurses in the house and made them empty their purses before tying them up. The eight women between the ages of 19 and 24 were all bound, robbed, strangled, and stabbed by Richard, with at least one victim being raped by him. Because there were so many victims, he did not notice that the woman who originally opened the door was not among the other victims. She had managed to get away and hide under the bed, and she was able to seek help once he left the home. Corazon remembered his Born to Raise Hell tattoo and used it to identify him. They later found his fingerprints at the scene. He tried to escape being arrested by trying to commit suicide on July 19th, 1966, but he later changed his mind and summoned help after slashing his wrist where his tattoo gave him away once again at the hospital and he was eventually arrested. When he was put on trial, he said he did not remember the eight murders committed that night. After Corzon testified, the trial lasted just 12 days and then Speck was charged with all eight of the murders. He died in prison on December 5th, 1991. Shortly after his death, a video was released with Speck doing drugs and having sex with another inmate while in prison. He also casually admits to killing the women. He even bragged about the strength required to do what he did. This man was just disturbed. Sadly, there's so many more stories like this out there. And if you'd like me to do more videos about mass murderers, um, cannibals, conspiracy theories, anything spooky like, um, comment down below and let me know. I'll probably be doing more videos like this seeing as it is Halloween month and I love like spooky stuff and all the sorts of things like that. So just let me know if you want to see anything else like this or if you like this video or how I can improve this video. Thanks for watching. Please like, comment, subscribe, all of the things. Do all of the things please. Thank you. Hope you have a great day.